What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane and welcome to another quick episode here on 5 Star Cars. The car sharing where I just give my thoughts and opinions of what's going on in the supercar and car community on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, it'd be dope if you want to click on the subscribe button. Guys, we're aiming for 2,000 subs and if you want to like the video, even better. Um, you know, obviously we get big enough, I want to get a project car for the channel. Uh, it is a major goal of mine, uh, so guys, It'd be great if you'd help out um and on today's episode as i said we're just going to be covering if you've seen probably by the title uh i just want to cover basically what's going on with maybe tall guy reviews channel and what has affect maybe what's affected it and why it hasn't uploaded in a while uh before we get into that guys don't forget uh down in the description below you can vote for your 2020 car youtuber of the year multiple choice uh you can pick as many as you want i did the best i could with the list um I was limited to who I could put on there, but vote away and we'll have announced the winner on January 1st. So do subscribe to the bell button for that if you want to know who wins. Um, also, guys, if you're interested in coming on the channel, I, I do want to try and turn this into kind of a chat, discussion, talk show for the supercar community on YouTube. Um, my Instagram will come up at the end of the video as well. So hit me up in, on Instagram or if you just want to chat to me on Instagram, message me away. I'll write back to you guys and definitely comment below I'll miss you down there as well. So, as I said, in this video, uh, we're we covering um, what's maybe gone on with Tall Guy Car Reviews. Now, uh, he hasn't posted in, looks like nearly over a week now. Um, and I'm, I'm just kind of wondering what, what's going on. Like, usually he's been posting pretty well. Um, you know, what has happened. Because uh, he, he does, on his Instagram, um, he does do um, Insta stories, but he hasn't actually posted. Now, his views haven't been doing very well um, the last few while. And when he took, you know, delivery of the, the super stock, which look, he was called out. We know he didn't own the car. It was loaned out to him for maybe a day or two. Um, like, if you think he actually owned it, just don't be kidding yourself. You know, ice cream. Um, and you know basically saw this and one or two other channels saw this as well um, and you know I think what's happened maybe is he's kind of like his channel does seem to be failing I had a look you know if you look at social blade and um, he's got a D minus like it was really bad um, he's not even barely getting any subs um, you know and it's just it's not doing very well for him uh, and you wonder, you know, is it because he's hanging out with Mr. Organic? Because that guy's channel is just sinking like a stone. Because um, I think he, he might be doing a vehicle versions job, maybe take a week or two off, reassess his channel and see what he's going to do. Because Organic hasn't done a video with this guy uh, in the week either. So I'm wondering, is he trying to distance himself from him or is he just going to come back or will he explain where he's been or what he's been up to? Um, because as far as I can see, it doesn't, like his views are going down um, and people have said in his comment section that he never owned the um, super stock either. So, you know, it's not good for you. The best thing you can do is try and always be as honest as you can with your subscribers on YouTube. Um, and you know, if you're running out of content, ask them what they want to see. Ask the suggestions from your uh, subscribers in the comments section saying like, what do you want to see? Do you have ideas? I just don't know guys. You just feel like, look, he's going down a route that he shouldn't be going down and he just needs to, you know, hopefully he's going to go away from this organic um, because it's obviously, he, he, that's what's killing his channel. Um, organic, I mean, look, guys, we all know the thing about this, right? Is I'm gonna say it now. I've reached out to Life of Hemi, and what I said to Life of Hemi was, Do you want to come on the channel and we'll have a discussion about you meeting up with Mr. Organic and paying him the $1,200 and just try and get him more insight into what this guy is about and, and what happened? Uh, try and ask a few more questions as well. I checked out his video, it's got like maybe 90,000 views. Um, you know, I watched it and it kind of just explains to you what's going on. He really, I don't think, he cares about his subscribers. Um, like, honestly, like, it's, and even Danielle Champion, like, it's just, you can just tell, like, ice cream vlogs, Hidden Man, T-Size Word in the Street, uh, like a Hemi, 
Um, there's a lot of people who have already exposed this guy and he knows it. And the problem is because he knows it, he just doesn't care. He's just grasping the straws now. And it's not a good sign or a good look for tall guy car abuse to be associated with somebody like that. I just, I, I, I look, let's be honest here guys. It's not good for the car scene either when you're saying you're gonna be selling all these cars and you're not. Um, like if you look at his social blade, it's really bad. I mean, like, and the other thing I noticed as well on social blade is he was down to like, I think it was 219,000 subscribers. He was losing subscribers and now he's up by 2,000. It just kind of like won't, I, I don't know how he's getting these 2,000 subscribers out of nowhere. It just seems a bit suspicious, like all of a sudden he's, he's gotten these uh, 2,000 because his views have been going down and his subscribers have just been, like he got a spike back in, two, or back in 2019, September, but guys, you know, that that's basically, it's nuts. Like, I mean, the guy just needs to kind of give up, I think, and just kind of leave it be. Tall guy needs to go away and sort out um, what he's doing. Is he gonna come back and say he's redoing the channel better and not with Miss Organic? Or maybe even TJ Millionaire even said to Tall Guy saying, look, we gotta get away from Organic because it's no good for you. Um, even Daniel Champion probably needs to just get away from him as well because he does seem pretty toxic and just, um, just it's terrible. He's been exposed so much at this stage. It's just, it's just at this point, People are just done with him and he just needs to stop like and stop just stop lying and stop clickbaiting but he won't he'll keep I think he's gonna just keep going going to ran down to basically till he can't make enough to, to live in LA anymore so look it is what it is guys I want to hear your thoughts and comments below in the uh, comment section um, please do subscribe smash this like button get this video up here um, let me know again as your comments and do um, I will let you know when I'm doing this discussion and chat with Life of Hemi on the channel I'm waiting for my new desk and a new mic so when I have them set up I told Hemi I will uh, ring him on zoom and we're just going to call and discuss what's been going on when he met up with Mr. Organic as well so guys thanks very much again if you watched the end uh, smash the like button comment all that kind of stuff until the next episode guys stay safe peace out and keep it this. My final thoughts was that, you know what I'm saying, I, I was just disappointed, you know what I'm saying? He was someone that I looked up to in the YouTube community <laughs> and I was let down. Okay. I was uh I was let down severely, you know what I'm saying? I was promised something and I wasn't given that something and unfortunately I paid in a way where I didn't even really I can't even let's not you know what I'm saying I'm not even gonna you know you know get asked for no refund back because you know at the end of the day it's it's twelve hundred dollars gone, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, y'all, I, I would never do this again. I would never do another collab with him. Even if, you know, even when I'm speaking it, you know what I'm saying, positive thinking, positive vibes.